uh, gear. Hold on, let's start with the uh, <clears throat> big three. Um, the sleeping, let's see, the pack is over here. Actually, I have one really close. Yeah, I'm going to just whip this one over. This is Jay's pack. This is the Outdoor Vitals uh, Rhyolite 60 liter. Um, it's a really nice pack. I've had it all over the Florida Trail and our practice heights and stuff like that. Uh, we have our Z seat butt pad. Love it. Um, we have our hand sanitizer always with us. Tick key just in case. Um, but yeah, the rain, the rain cover is right on the bottom, so I don't have to worry about it. I just unzip and flip up. And I've had good luck with that. Um, it has a liner. <clears throat> On the inside, it's just this big trash bag I used to I got from work uh, when we still had to use these giant bags. So I was like, "Oh, we're getting rid of them. Cool, they're mine now." All right, but I love that pack. <clears throat> but on to bigger and and awesomer things. Uh, number two is our sleeping bag. This is the outdoor. I use a lot of outdoor vitals. Uh, it was in my budget, and it's a pretty good product, so I love it. Um, this is the 20 degree summit. It's so fluffy. It's so nice. <clears throat> anyway, it, it's awesome. And then, let's see. Oh, our tent. Jay and I will be splitting the weight because if it was just me, this would be too, too damn heavy. Um, but because we're splitting, it's, uh, it's great. Um, it is the, this is half of it. Um, I'm actually going to probably take it out of the bag and stuff it. I think that might be one of the solutions that will help. Oop. That will help, uh, with the whole fitting thing. It's a, uh, marmot, uh, tungsten two-person tent. It's great. Uh, we had the limelight first. And it didn't, it only had one door and it only had one vestibule. And it just, you, know, you needed a place to put your gear because in, other than that, you're just stuck with it, like, on you, and it's not cool. We love this tent. It's great. It has two vestibules. One's a little longer, so I put that one in the back for the gear. And then uh, two doors, two vestibules. It's freaking great. Now, granted, it's heavy. It's like four pounds. But when we split it, it's two pounds, so it's appropriate. Um, <clears throat> I kind of have weak ankles, and Jay has a weak knee, so I am including... Just a minor brace. Maybe, you know, when we're in camp and we're, you know, we're about to go to sleep or something, we can put it on and have our, uh, put our feet on the packs, you know. Um, <clears throat> and let me see. I got some cord. I figured, um, I don't know if I'm going to take all this cord, but, uh, I figured we'd be on top of a, or we're climbing up a, like a mountain base or whatever. And, uh, I can use it for, like, clothesline, or I can, you know, when we're climbing up the base, we can have one person, like, go up, and then, uh, you know, we can throw a rope to them, we can attach the backpacks, and then just raise them up, so you don't have to, like, you know, not safely climb the, uh, the mountain with it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. If not, it's going back in a box, and it's being sent back. I don't, I don't care that much. It's, it's just the thing. Um... <clears throat> This is my, our, uh, excuse me, this is our first aid kit and our sundries and, sh and stuff. Uh, I'll go into that in just a second. Um, I have my toothbrush, toolpaste, tiny bit of floss with a cutter. All right, let's go to this, <clears throat> this kit. I know there's a lot of stuff. I'm trying to uh, get it all oh, one-handed. Maybe like, ah. Um, <clears throat> uh, before... Before I get to this, real quick, it's kind of related. There's one thing that you're like, you don't need this crap. And I'm like, eh, kind of. Um, I don't have a bear bag. I am bear canning it because, A, I cannot throw. This is not like, oh, you'll learn or with enough practice. No, I am just, I was not born to throw. <laughs> so I figured after walking, you know, 15 miles, 10 miles, 20 miles, depending on where we are in our hike, I'm just going to go walk over to where I need to put them down, put it down, and just walk away and not deal with it. Okay. And you'll know the reason why I mentioned the uh, Bear Vault BV500. <sighs> anyway, back to this. Sorry I'm jumping around, but this is what my brain is right now. It's like T-minus six days, and... 
Well, anyway, let's go. Um, <clears throat> so we got the gold bond friction because of my thighs. And then uh, we got some Neosporin. I think I just put that in. I may, I may just put a little bit in a bag and some Q-tips. Got some chapstick. Um, just in case we stay in shelters, I got some nice, uh, you know, for sleeping. You know, so you don't hear people snoring. I can't think of the word. Oh, it's gone. It's not hearing aids. It's, um, it'll come to me. Uh, I got some sunscreen. Oh, I already have two brush and toothpaste. Well, that, that gets out of here. See? There we go. Awesome. Less, less crap. Got some sunscreen for the first part of it. Um, and then we have, like, a, some kind of comb for beards and hair or whatever. Uh, this stuff right here is amazing. <sighs> it's called cat crap. I'm not crapping you. It's, it's, uh, when you have glasses, plus, you know, when you're wearing warm stuff, your glasses immediately, you can't see edible. So I went on Amazon and I was like, all right, seriously, what can I do if I'm in the mountains and the snow and now I can't see? It's called cat crap. You just put on your glasses and you wipe it off and voila, it, it's awesome. All right. Um, I got an eyeglasses kit because me and Jay both have glasses and it would be unfortunate uh, if uh, if we had a problem like a screw loose. <sighs> um, this is the item that I don't need, but I do need. It's camp soap. Uh, you do it away from water sources and figured I have a bear can, you know, I can do laundry. I can wash my dishes in it. I can do, yeah, I can do all sorts of stuff. And the anti, the, the, um, oh, dang it. The, uh, what the hell is it called? Goodness. What is it called? Purell? Purell. Yeah, the, pur the Purell stuff for your hands. It only does, it only does like bacteria and such. It doesn't do viruses. And this soap. You know, soap helps with viruses. So, I don't want to get sick on trail. I, we don't want to get sick on trail. So, I mean, I may not bring this, but I kind of want to because um, and I can use it for other things too. But I just don't want to get sick. And being sick sucks. All right. We got our 100% D. I'm not playing around. Living in Florida. I'm no freaking bugs. The bugs are the freaking worst. Let me see, is there anything else in there other than this cool thing? Okay, this is my basic set. Uh, it's an Altoids. And then, let me pop it open. Okay. All right. So, what this got in here, we're going to go down a little bit. What this has in here, this basic set. It's, uh, i got to find where the camera is. Sorry, bud. we got a basic set of tweezers, the flat kind. Um, we got nail cutters. Well... I'll get a new one because this one just fell out and I good thing I checked, man. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, that goes away. You know, it had lucky on it. It is unlucky. Alright, anyway. <clears throat> don't don't mind that. Don't don't even look at that. Okay. So we have Pipto Bismol. We have a uh, strike strike matches. Uh, some bandages. Some antiseptic cleaning. Some tums. Jay has a lot of heartburn, so that might help. Um let me see. I got dental floss with a sewing needle, just in case we have to stitch stuff up. Just basic stuff and an extra lighter. Um, <clears throat> give me a second. Let me get this all back. Um, I'll fix this in a minute. I'll just put the tweezers in here. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix that. I'll just put that right over here. Do not, do not mind that. <laughs> okay, so that's what's in, that's what's in my, uh, my, our bag here. We're sharing all this stuff, so they only need me one, one bag. Okay, ah, back up. All right. That aside, um, sorry about that. That aside, uh, we have a Rawology uh, ball for massaging your muscles and getting all the knots work out on the end of the day after you're stretching. I love this stuff. It's so nice. It floats. Made of cork. It's very, it's very nice. It's very light. Does its purpose. Uh, uh, very small Uno cars in case it's raining. You know, stuck in a tent all day. Might as well do something. I mean, I have other entertainment too, but you know, it's good, good to have. All right, these, this bag, it's nothing really important. It's, it's like 
not really to show. It's a uh, micro microfiber glasses cleaning. Uh, just a little, just a little piece of fabric. Then you have glove and glove liners. I got them at uh, Bass Pro. It's it's just you know there's nothing there's nothing really big about them. I think they're like Columbia and uh, uh, some other brand. But they're just gloves. Both of us have a pair. <clears throat> All right, uh, my camera is a Canon G7X Mark II. I love my new baby. I love him so much. He's amazing. He's, he's just amazing. I got a stick pick for him, and I have an ultra pod for him. Um, <clears throat> and I have, let me see, my phone chargers. And since I'm... I have a I, I have a couple of degrees and I want to uh in like filmmaking and TV. I kind of want to do something on the trail. So, uh this is my gear set for electronics. It's definitely bigger than Jay's, especially with this cuz it's just he's doing the first aid and his stuff because he doesn't have as much crap as I do. Uh what this stuff is, we have anchor wires, anchor wire we have a Anchor 13,000 uh, mAh. Um, we have a hard drive. I was, you know, my plan is to get all the video from whenever I do a video on my phone. I can just put it into the hard drive and take it off the phone. That's what I'm planning on doing. <clears throat> now, if it fails, I'll send it back home. But I figured it would save on space. And it would give me more control. I have extra batteries. I just, you know, it's funny. I couldn't find my original Canon batteries. So I just ordered another one. And I found the original. So now I have three batteries. Yay. Um, I have a external mic. Sorry, I have an external mic. With a little fluff uh, for my phone. Because the, um, sadly, the Canon does not have a, a mic input. But again, if that is not... If I don't use it, I'm gonna send it back home. Uh, I figure with like Mount Washington and mountains that are or windy, windy days, I can just pop that in, and that will help with the stuff. I don't think there's anything else in here. It's just simple, just power, just heavy power. Um, we got uh, our bath. This is uh, those nice wipes uh, that's dehydrated. You just add water, and poof, bath time. Um, trowel. Toilet paper in a pea style. So I'm not playing any games. I learned real quick that it's it's much easier just to uh, just to use that instead of squatting and almost getting bit by a snake. Life lesson here. Life lesson, folks. Um, the reason why I'm doing a trowel like this and not the deuce of spades is longer reach. I I don't want my hand anywhere in you know the actual shit zone. Just I don't want to be that close. Love you, but not not that much shit. And anyway, um, this is Jay's pack so far. He's got a uh, a uh, a nook too that he'll be charging and his phone. But uh, he's got a ten thousand. It's a faster charger than mine. Mine was older. This one came out after mine. And we have our dual charger to charge stuff. Uh, we both have a Fox Ellie. Uh, rechargeable headlamp. I use this thing every day when I walk to work. It is fantastic and it charges with, you know, um, it doesn't have batteries. It charges uh, via USB. It has a red light and uh, it has a red light and a white light and it has different modes. It's excellent. Excellent product. I love this thing so much. And it's actually really, really bright. Um, I thought, you know, as a not cheap. That would make it a bad quality. As a affordable uh, uh, headlamp, it would be like less lumens. No, it's got pretty good. It's got pretty good lumens on it, so I was pretty happy about that. <clears throat> Our trekking poles are the the. Give me a second. I think it's the Ergo. Let me check. Yep, the Black Diamond Ergo Cork. I learned my lesson when we were hiking the part of the Florida Trail, the section of the Florida Trail, that uh. <clears throat> don't go with cheap. Just don't go with cheap. It uh, it, I I pushed down on it, put my weight on it, and it would just zoom all the way down to the ground. And then I tried to tighten it. You couldn't tighten it like that. You couldn't tighten 
the the way that these do. These are fantastic. They've got the, the flit lock. But you can tighten them. If you need it more tight, you can tighten them. It's good quality. I love my trekking poles. I am. I wish I just bought these instead of trying to go the cheap route. Okay. I also have Luco tape and duct tape on each of our sets, just in case. Um, <clears throat> for our hats, we have Kobos. Cabos. I love them. They're kind of funny looking, but they're great. They float and rain bounces off them. I don't know. I love them a lot. They're great. Um, <clears throat> back to our sleep system. Sorry, it's really, really jumpy. Um, it's just the way I kind of threw them on the bed. It's, um, I have an OV, uh, Outdoor Vitals, sleep liner for the mummy, but I got it modded. Jay's mom is a seamstress, and she's awesome. She put on this zipper that goes all the way here. I just, I didn't want to step in it and feel like a little silkworm. I just, it's just too, too closed in for me. And then I have an inflatable OV pillow. I use this for my car trips, and I use this for our camping. Just, I love it. It's awesome. Um, my clothes, they are not, they're not amazing. You know, they, they will work. I got a lot, I got really lucky at Goodwill. Uh, essentially what my clothes are, I'm not going to take them out. Um, I got the hiking clothes right here, actually. So I'll whip around real quick. So here we go. <clears throat> So we have our gators. We have the running funky and the dirty girl because um, I had a bigger size than what dirty girl would do. So Jay has Jay has the dirty girl and I have the running funky. Love them. Um, we got some basic uh, wicking underoos. No famous brand. It's just what works. Uh, I was just told that I should have a fleece because I have a puffy jacket, but I should have a fleece, a puffy jacket for the camp, and fleece. For walking. So <laughs> I'm going to give this a shot. I know. I am packing my fears. I We're leaving Florida and I'm cold in 50s. So uh, yeah. <clears throat> let's just let's just leave it at that. If, uh, if need be, I can just always send it home. I don't care that much. Anyway, so we got a fleece pullover. Um, this is my friend's old hat. It's knit. Uh, I was going to go with my grandmother's knit hat, but it, uh, it was just a little too loose for wind. I needed a very tight knit hat. Uh, I have three pairs of darn socks. Darn tough socks, excuse me. Two for hiking, one for camp. And the camp one's like super big and fluffy. It's amazing. So that's a jack my jacket. Jay has the same same thing. You got darn tough socks. We got He's got a fleece he's got to find <clears throat> before the week's over. I found this really cool um, thing. It's a bandana that you can just clip onto your backpack if hike at a trail and hike at a town. I tried painting. I tried painting this on my butt pad, and it just did not. You can't read it. So I'm super glad. You know, now I have a weird looking butt pad, but whatever. Um, uh, oh, give me a second. But now I can just. Now it's easy to read, and when we're in a when we're going to town or going back to the trail, if they want to pick us up, then now now it's really obvious that that's what we need. Okay, I'll just put that over here. We'll go back to this. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm bouncing. Um, anyway, got some enough. I think this is Jay's Darn Tough. Um, he has some really nice work shirts that were wicking synthetic. So that's what we'll use. Just a basic t-shirt, you know, synthetic t-shirt, uh, long sleeve. I found some really nice ones at Goodwill. It's also synthetic. Um, so that will be his shirt. And then we got, uh, I found some REI convertible pants for him. And then, see this is when we get to the too much clothes department and I'll, we'll just figure it out on the first week and deal with it. Um, I have tights. Um, his is like work tights or whatever. But uh, I figured for extra protection, for extra for cold, this will be a good idea. Um, but if it if we won't use it, it gets sent back home. That's okay. No big deal. Uh, this is mine. Just a basic synthetic t-shirt with, I found a Patagonia Capoline. I think that's what it's called. 
at Goodwill for like two dollars and it was my size. I was about to cry. Ugh. I got a sports bra. I think I got two sports bras, one for camp and one for one for hiking. Um, and then these I found at a Goodwill for like a couple bucks. It's also convertible pants. I'm a big girl right now, so finding clothes that are my size is kind of like winning the lottery. Um, not, I mean, not like that, that, kind not like that bad. No, 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 no. Um, but, uh, I meant like convertible pants, like secondhand convertible pants, you know, finding your size as a lady. I, you know, I just immediately go to dudes because of my, my, my hips. So, but I found it and it works out fine. So yay. Um, one of these buffs I'll bring, I got like three of them. So I have to find out the one I want to wear. And let's see socks. So that's what we're gonna hike in. Now in the bag, in the bag, it's um we got fleece, uh, a fleece base set. It's just something I found at Walmart. It's warm top and warm pants. And then I have an extra pair of shorts because of you know these these over here. Uh, it's not like shorty shorts. It's like to my knee. So. Figure in the summertime that can go home, maybe, and I can, you know, have the shorts here. Um, I have a little dress for for town when I do laundry, if I don't do laundry in my can. Um, just basic clothes, nothing fancy. Um, just not worth taking them out, sorry. Um, what else? I have our Patagonia Nano Puff Jackets. That's our puffies. We get the Z seed, as I said before. We're using smart water bottles and for our water system. Um, arr. Arr. Okay. It doesn't want to come out. I will show you. Okay, so we have a Sawyer squeeze. Um, just the normal size. I love this thing. And uh, I have a backup one for Jay just in case we get separated. I have a backup stove. Yeah, anything that is needed to well survive out there he's got an extra copy not that i don't love him i just want him to be okay just in case something happens um i got a platypus two liter dirty bag um what what this is is a gravity feed system there's a, a hose of the gravity works platypus that attaches to this dirty bag here and then using the uh little guys over here you attach it to the Sawyer, and whammo, you can just walk away and your water gets filled up. It's amazing. So that's basically our, our water. Uh, Jay just has, uh, he'll have just like a little plastic bag. Um, he'll have a little plastic, you know, a little thing that comes with the Sawyer squeeze and then that. Um, we made homemade koozies. So when we make our rice sides or potatoes, we can just hold on. There we go. You just pop it in with a Ziploc bag, close it, you know, let it sit for 20 minutes, wham, bam, it's done when you get to camp. Easy peasy. All right, my battery is running out, so I gotta make this quick. All right, so we both have this silicone cup. We got a EMS Thunderhead rain jacket. It's not super fancy, but I use it during Florida afternoon downpours and it's kept me dry. It's got pit zips. Uh, it doesn't compress well, but it's nice and bulky, and I like it. We got the Z, Z Packs uh, rain kill. I love that. <clears throat> we got the Outdoor Vitals insulated sleeping pad. It's it's the long, wide one. It's huge. It's like the Cadillac. It's like a freaking pool float. I love it. I can roll around and not have a problem with it. Let's see. Tent spikes. Um, I have the AWOL, the AWOL guide. Um, and this is my electronic book. And then this thing this is my journal. It's my luxury item. It's heavy, I know, but it's a Doctor Who freaking... This is me nerding out. Well, how cool would it be to actually have a trail, the Appalachian Trail through hike experience in this, man? It's just like when River looks up stories of Doctor Who, you know? That's just amazing. Well, you know, I really hope I can bring that. Uh, if I can't, uh, but yeah, that's, I've managed to get my extra crap down. That's just really hard to let go. All right, is there anything else? I have a couple things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
I have a Snow Peak 700 uh, with a homemade little koozie. Made that homemade. All right, I shoved hot, hot chocolate packets in there, don't mind me. Um, BRS stove, nice and light. GRS, uh, GSI, excuse me, a little scraper. It's kind of already messed up, but whatever. Got a little squeegee, soapy, you know, sponge thing. Got a lighter and uh, one of those cool camp towels. It's very simple. Um, I have to, I got one of those hot lips for drinking, drinking stuff, need be. Um, just in case I don't want to bring the little, the little collapsible cup. Don't mind me sticking cocoa back here. I have to put it in my bear can and it's just, I filled this up and I didn't have enough room for this. So I had to put stuff in it just to make it work. I know I have too much food, but then again, I'd rather have too much than not enough. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out the best way to do this once we're on trail, you know? This is just stuff I don't know yet, and I'm just preparing. Um, I got a super pretty in, in case, you know, the ones in my shoes are bad. I have all these random shoes that me and Jay have that my mom will just mail to us uh, when we need it. Um, I got Sea to Summit, a uh, hairnet, uh, a headnet for my the mosquitoes. It actually goes on top of the kabu just fine. Um, I got this really cool, I think it's on mine. It's on both of ours, but uh, I have another piece of gear that's on mine. So let me whip this bad boy over. Z-Pax has this uh, water clip to hold because I cannot reach the back of, of my pack to get my water. So either I use Jay's water or I just picked this up, found out this exists. So that's pretty awesome. And then I got the Z-Pax extra pocket and my little knife in there. But my phone will be in there and my camera will be in my hip pocket. Um, that's kind of the plan. I can't put both because it's just too heavy on my chest. I mean, you know what I mean. So I'm going to hook on the bandana here and here so people can read that we need a ride if need be. Um, that's basically it. I mean, it's not impressive, it's not fancy, but it will work. Um, and if need be, we will uh, we will pick up more things. But uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for hanging out. Let me see if I can... If I missed anything, rain gear, food. I got the Sea to Summit. See the summer titanium, or not titanium, aluminum spork in my in my bear can there. Um, Fairfall BRS. We got the, give me a second, reading. Patagonia, drill runner's feet. See, I love Merrell's, the shoes. I've just, I've tried other ones like Solomon's and Altars. I just am a fan of Merrell's, so um, I'll have to look into more of that. But I'll, I'll try any, any, uh, any shoes, really. Um. Maybe the new style will be more for me. I got RI sock liners. I got a CTR uh, fleece neck gaiter for you know for it to be really cold. But yeah, that's basically it. I I'm not seeing anything more on my list. So um, sorry about this uh, not impressive thing, but uh, I am pretty excited about this. I think I'm ready. I just have to get this in. Our packs. It gets super tight. Like it, it can happen, but it's too tight for me to be comfortable. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm trying not to use the brain, so I gotta find a different way to squish. You know, I gotta find a different way to squish. So um, it's just learning how to do things, and uh, before before we go. Um, I'm super excited now. I'm seeing everybody go. So, can't wait to see y'all on trail. Bye, y'all.